Namo here with a quick uh, video log update on what the um, what I've been up to recently and in relation to the release schedule of 2019 and what you should look forward to and what my thoughts are right now. Well, first of all comes the status of my channel. Again, my subscriber count has yet to reach 150 subscribers. And I was one I've been wondering for a while why that was. And it turns out that since I my channel really took off by gaining several views and subscribers, YouTube has changed its, has updated its search algorithm. Rather than the number of views and likes and dislikes ratio, it now has a relationship with tag words and other videos and it's now a lot more complex. So now a lot of veterans are being buried under a bunch of fraud creators, especially people who are really just using clickbait videos to stress quantity over quality. Those who really take time and take time in creating something that's interesting for people to see and as well as being fun about it as a person. And and because of this problem I have lost my YouTube partnership, meaning that my videos are no longer monetized because my channel is too fucking small. So I had to rely entirely on PayPal donations and whatnot because that's where I get l most of my support from my fans and subscribers, even though my subscriber count is pretty low. I actually have a lot more fans than my subscribers think, mainly because most of them I got a lot more of a following on Blip.TV, which is now a defunct video service that was competing with YouTube. But now, thankfully, the new YouTube Studio dashboard um, feature that's new this year is supposed to help you on your analytics and how to create better content to reach people. And one of the... Complaints I have actually, and one of the strategies I have heard is re-releasing, um, well, not really re-releasing, but re-uploading old episodes of retrospective reviews. Why? Because of not only the, um, outdated aspect ratio resolution, but also because of complaints on my long pauses and stuttering because I wasn't really good at memorizing my scripts as I am today. Now, on top of all the re-released um, old episodes, I will also get to my new... I'll also get down to new content as well whenever I can because I have a full-time day job now. Because YouTube was cutting into my revenue recently, so I had to take on jobs in the community, as most content creators do in real life. I mean, come on, you can't make a living off YouTube unless you either have corporate sponsorships or you're that one in a million people who happens to have a lot, who happens to jack up a million subscribers and hours of watch time. Now, I'm not really going to go that route by chance because it's as good as Spending all your hard-earned money on Powerball tickets hoping to, to strike gold. It's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen on your own. I mean, most of those, like, channels that have millions of subscribers have corporate sponsorship. Like, they're sponsored by some company or they work for some company and people know who they are and there's back and forth, forth links and whatnot. I am completely independent, however. Because people, despite my t style of reviewing, people have pretty much called me a channel awesome wannabe. And thank God, most of the content creators who were partnered with Channel Awesome have now left. Which is why I'm not really joining MCNs, which are because their memberships, because their perks and monetizations for them really really suck you actually lose a lot of your monetization dollars as well which is why machinima went belly up 
So in order to make sh make up for my uh, lost revenue from a loss of the YouTube YouTube partnership program, is try to get um, at least a hundred thousand subscribers. Even though that's a long way from now, based on my 141 subscribers, which I'm steadily regaining from my lost from my last. From my last peak of nearly um, 350 subscribers that I had way back when, when the search algorithm was a lot better and much more simpler. But then I had happened to lost them through some stupid shit I did on uh, video logs and stuff like that. That 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 these antics were pretty much overshadowed, but were pretty much overshadowing my real work. And I have learned my lesson from that, and I'm sorry, the damage is done, but I can still turn myself around right now. Hey, and in terms of future content, I'm also getting, um, within like a week or two, I'm, I'm preparing a, um, Land of the Lost review of retrospective reviews. And, of course, reviewing another bad Tomb Raider game. Yes, because there are pretty bad ones... Even before Angel of Darkness, and I'll get to them. So stay tuned, and I will also um, get to another Tidbits episode within the first quarter, hopefully. And who knows what I'll do for April Fools. The New Year's resolution, my New Year's resolution, even though it's pretty late, eh, it's to really surpass my my um, previous uh, subscriber count, my initial peak number of subscribers has 350 hopefully in fact many content creators are really looking for recognition to mainly just sell their products online their branded products online like i have at the mario media store that's how i make up most of my revenue doing this uh youtube business and it's also pretty typical of people doing that when they have a decline of recognition take for example soldier boy who is really only famous for that overrated dance number that was just so obnoxious so mr crank so i'm not really going to go into too much detail of, on mr crank that soldier boy selling bootleg consoles that have been rebranded with his own content probably because that story has been done to death and i don't want to really copy people and soldier boy is already gonna ha already has landed himself in some hot water i'm not so i'm not merely just a content creator doing it just for fun i'm also an entrepreneur online, if you notice. Not only am I selling branded t-shirts, but I'm also selling uh, some Kindle books. And speaking of the Kindle books, I'll actually have, um, hopefully get volume four done of, of Gaia Solace. It's just been a very, very rough few years. For many reasons, which I don't want to go into because I do not want to get into my personal life. Um, but I can tell you that it mainly has to do with, uh, other things. And that's really all I have for, uh, quick updates right here. And I'll see you within, like, a week or so. This is Mario Nama, signing off. And if you like the content of this channel, please make sure to subscribe. And also watch more of my channels and hopefully follow me on the website and whatnot. So, that's to it. Bye.